So lately I've been scrolling around YouTube looking at videos related to trade lens and I could not find a single guide for trade lens piracy. So why aren't people making any? Well, it's quite simple. You see, before the update, piracy was not at all worth it since you only got about 200 doubloons per stolen cargo. However, with the recent update, cargo prices can go all the way up to 1000 doubloons, so I can see some people coming back to piracy. It has also been nerfed. Examples of nerfs are cargo picked up then put on the water. These spawn way faster than before. So overall, I can only think of two reasons to do piracy. One, it's fun. No, seriously. Unless you find trade running fun, there's nothing more epic than boarding an atlas and stealing all its cargo. You get to actually press left click and right click, assuming you block. Two, it's somewhat profitable. Like I said, stolen cargo got a huge increase in the amount you get. If you sell stolen cargo in a server with huge amounts of white crest, you can get up to 200 doubloons per cargo just from selling white crest cargo to Fenwick. No joke. I remember a while back when Nasu had fish cargo. An atlas full of Nasu cargo went to sell at Halengard. But luckily, I spawned at Halengard at the exact moment it came and stole all its cargo. Now that is luck. But luck can also work against you. Which brings me to the reasons why you should not do piracy. The most obvious reason of all is it's pretty much entirely luck based. Your first priority when doing piracy is to find a ship to pirate. You're mainly going to be looking out for pheasants, herons, or if you're lucky, possibly an atlas. However, if you're unlucky, then it's a huge waste of time, since you'll be sailing across the sea hoping for a ship to come out to port, which most of the time they won't. So make sure you join the right server. Second of all, you get hate. As the name suggests, piracy is literally selling someone else's cargo, and nobody wants their cargo stolen. As a pirate, I've gotten many threats by players saying they will place 10k bounties on me, and honestly, I just don't care. Over time, you'll learn to not care about the people you steal from, and you shouldn't, since that's how the developers made the game. Nobody can get mad at you for stealing cargo. Third of all, it's stressful. I want you to imagine yourself in this scenario. You're chasing an atlas full of fish cargo. You're on a Taipan with five of your friends, and there's absolutely no way the atlas is escaping. In a couple of minutes, you would have made 10k doubloons by just stealing cargo. But then, the captain disconnects, and the atlas gets away. I cannot think of any moment more annoying than that. It's pretty much all I can think of, so if you're ready to deal with the pressure of piracy, feel free to progress through the video. Now to the actual tips about piracy in trade lens. Overall, I could only think of four. First of all, get a good ship for piracy, which is possibly one of the most important factors of piracy, since you cannot commit piracy when you can't even catch up to the person you're stealing from, and it's not like they will sail towards you. Not every trader is looking for a fight, so I'll be listing each factor for a ship in order of relevance. First of all, you have type of sail. I personally think having a ship that goes crosswind easily or has an engine might be the best kind of ship for raiding, due to it being able to catch to any traders who try to use the wind to get away. Second of all, you have speed. While many people might value cargo capacity over speed, I personally think having more speed is better due to being able to save time and make piracy a lot easier. Third of all, we have cargo capacity. This one is ranked third due to having a ship which holds a lot of cargo is essential towards raiding, since you'll never know how much cargo you'll get. Therefore, cargo capacity is essential. Fourth of all, we have health. While not many raiders care about the health of their ship, I think it's quite essential since ships like the Marauder have really low health to the fact where it takes less than 10 shots to sink. And being fast does not mean being invincible. Fifth of all, we have firepower. This doesn't really matter much since most raiders tend to board ships instead of sinking them, since it's cheaper and much more faster. If you want to know one of the best raiding slash combat ships, I recommend checking out Pilot's Roblox's video. While most of the stuff is kind of outdated, I think that most things haven't changed much. So overall, the ships I recommend for raiding is the Saipan and the Dart. Congratulations, you have a good ship. But don't forget, you still need to PvP. But how are you going to do that exactly? Unless you're bringing nothing but fists to the raid, you're going to need equipment, which is our second topic. I would like to break this down to three slots, weapons, ammunition, and other items. First of all, we have weapons. There's melee and there's ranged weapons. Now there are plenty of melee weapons in trade lands, 
And from doing research from other players, I cannot specify what is the best weapon in Tradelands due to each person having a different playstyle. Though, I do recommend the Falchion since it takes a reasonable amount of stamina for a 4 hit kill weapon and one of the best for 1v1s. Or, you could use Chloe's, which to be honest isn't a thing to be ashamed of. Chloe's spamming has been a regular thing in Tradelands for a while now and most people have learned to get used to it. Plus, you're already getting hate for raiding somebody so there's no reason not to use Chloe's. Then we have ranged weapons, which the best one you could possibly use is the caplock weapons such as the Caplock Pistol and the Caplock Musket. While expensive, it's a really good thing to have while in PvP, since you have an advantage of scaring your opponent, threatening to bring their health down to half from a single gunshot. But obviously, you'll need ammunition. The most obvious one being round shots. It is recommended to bring at least 30 to 50 round shots when raiding, since you'll never know if you're in a scenario where you need to sink something. Round shot is heavy, and some of you here may be confused on how to hold 30 to 50 round shots without being overweight. We'll get to that later. Now, let's talk about ranged weapons and munition. Again, I personally think Caplog is the best ranged weapon, and though it may cost about 350 doubloons per shot, it is worth the money. Lastly, we have other items, the most notable one being healing items. Now, overall, I think we can all agree that normal heart attack is the way to go. You have absolutely no reason not to use heart attack. It's literally 5 doubloons per piece and weighs 0 0.05, which means you could carry about 100 just by taking 5 weight from you. I highly recommend having at least 100 heart attack with you, since you'll be in a lot of PvP scenarios where you have to heal. Another item that I don't think anybody doesn't have is a spyglass. This is really important for being able to see other ships from far distances, and it's practically common sense to have one. The last item I would like to talk about is Feather Stones. Remember how I said you were going to be holding a lot of round shots? Well, to prevent from being overweight, you can carry Feather Stones, which adds 10 more weight capacity available to your inventory. You can buy Feather Stones from the Loyalty Merchant for 10 Loyalty Tokens. While expensive, it can really help you when raiding. Let's go! You now have a good ship and good equipment. Now, how exactly are you gonna raid somebody? Well, you have two choices. One, you can sink the ship and steal the cargo. However, Nord, the creator of the game, mentioned just today that there will be an upcoming update where sunken ships no longer drop cargo. Which brings me to our alternative route. Board the ship, then steal the cargo. However, Nard did mention that he will add cargo holds, so I am not exactly sure how that works. However, if it is like the mechanic of today, pretty much you board the ship, you kill the captain, then you steal the cargo. However, this may be quite scary for some players since they need to fight. Which brings us to our third topic, PvP. Now to PvP you need equipment, but we already got that covered. Now boarding is pretty simple. You board the ship, you kill the captain once, take the cargo, put it on your ship, then sail away. What you should not do is throw the cargo out of the ship, since like I said a while ago, cargo despawns way faster now than it used to, which makes the technique no longer work. So you're forced to PvP now, rather than board and throw the cargo off. Now this may sound scary for most of you who have never won a single duel before, but you learn over time. But in all honesty, if you absolutely suck at PvP, your best bet is to just spam left click. While it sounds dumb, it gets the job done in several occasions. Another thing I like to do is spam heart attack. Pretty much just keep dodging the enemy's attack and spam left click for eating heart attack. This is overall pretty smart and can get you to a high amount of health. I also recommend using your ranged weapons to scare the enemy into taking cover so you have time to attack and reload any weapons. Lastly, what I think is the most important factor in PvP is do not jump on the water, or as I like to call it, having the high ground. This is fatal for four reasons. First of all, you can't tack when on the water. This is fatal due to not being able to do one of the most important things when in PvP, healing. The only way to tack on water is to form a tack stack, which is pretty much standing on another player than tacking at that exact moment. The game will register this as standing on a surface. Second of all, you can't fire ranged weapons on water. This is actually really important since the enemy can use something you can't, which gives them a large advantage. Third of all, swimming is slower than walking. I think most of you know by now that swimming is incredibly slow, and this is fatal for one main reason, 
you can swim and catch up to other ships, since sprinting on water is as fast as for speed. So do try and stay on a ship. Last of all, it's incredibly hard to use first person mode on water. This isn't incredibly fatal for people that use third person mode, but for people that use first person mode, being on water will make you not be able to see anything. And that's the reason why you should always have the high ground. Congratulations! You've learned practically everything you need to know for raiding. From the ships and the equipment you need, and how to properly board a ship, but there's one final topic I'd like to talk about. Negotiating with traders. Now, traders are smart, and from experience, I can tell you that more than half the traders that try to negotiate with me end up tricking me into boarding their ship, then killing me when I am holding cargo, since I am fully vulnerable. Traders say not to trust pirates. I tell you not to trust traders. This isn't to say every trader is a complete liar, of course. Some people are just straight up intimidated. Sometimes they see a pirate ship and surrender immediately. So think of all the possible outcomes and don't take any risky negotiations, especially on trading ships with more than one person. Congratulations, you made it through the entire video. I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you and fun to watch. If you'd like to see more content made by me, feel free to click subscribe and press the like button. See ya. Thank you.